here's the Spectra 4. Put baby over there. Hi everyone, how are you all doing? I'm still waiting for the Wonder Woman 84 piece by JND Studios. I wanted to talk a little bit about home security. It's no doubt that collectors spend a lot of money on what they have. For me, home security, CCTV surveillance is important. Currently running five analog cameras. Analog is coax cable, BNC connectors. This is going to a, a DVR. This is not, I don't have a web interface set up for things like remote viewing, remote controlling. So again, direct from DVR to the television. So this is the five, five analog camera system. This is an IP camera system. So there's two different systems here. Analog coax cable, it doesn't matter what brand of cameras you have, it'll, you can, connect that to really any recorder and it'll you won't have any compatibility issues you know it would be more like plug and play the IP cameras usually will get a higher resolution the benefit with the IP system is that you get camera video camera power and audio from one cable from the Ethernet cable and with the analog system I mean you would have to run a video cable and you would have to run another cable for power and then with audio actually I'm not sure I don't have any analog cameras with with the microphones on them I'm thinking that that will be another cable run let's go to this here and let's see this here is let's go to Tuesday night here this is around 702 730 it's pitch black really out there and that is where the IP cameras come in so here is one of the IP cameras, it's a four megapixel IR wedge camera and I have it a little bit, a little recessed. In the ceiling, I was able to achieve a, a great angle on where it's pointed at. So here we have a 360 degree panoramic fish eye with the infrared lights. So that board you have is pretty funny actually. That's from the arts and crafts section at Walmart. I mounted it to that board ran the cables through, made a hole there. Kind of blends with the bottom of the walkway. This one's not recessed. It's kind of hanging down and it needed to be down and not blocked by boards on the sides. Uh, that would kind of be like putting it in a box, a cardboard box, and you would just see the, the four sides of the box if you did that. So it had to be down. With the infrared light, it really needed to be out in an unobstructed area where the light wouldn't bounce back off of anything. And it's really dark, very dark in the back here. You know, people do come around and, you know, there's things to step on to get into the windows. The application in, in the back was a, is a struggle because of the, the low light conditions. Easily solved with an IR camera. Last night, eight, nine, pitch black over here. The DVR here for the analog system, it's an eight channel system. Right now I'm only using five, so it can be expanded. Two terabyte hard drive. I believe with the IP camera system, this is just running one terabyte hard drive. So that will last about a month, about a month on motion recording. So with this 360 degree fisheye camera, it's a six megapixel. So I noticed that when you get towards the 12 megapixel, there's more features in terms of de-warping the, the image where you could look at the top part and the the other side you can look at that like you're facing straight at it also you can split up the image so if you have like a ring camera or a regular camera facing straight out uh, basically i would just see the fence whereas i'd like to see a left and right so 
the fisheye, the panoramic, eliminates the need for multiple cameras because it covers the entire area. So one can cover left, right, front and back rather than having to put one up facing in all directions. Four channel, right? One and two. The two remaining channels. I was able to de-warp this into two different views, a right and left, by duplicating the camera address here. And there's a little bit of PTZ controls. I can pan and zoom uh, within within this frame here digitally. So the camera has a little bit of a zoom and here's that zoom on the camera. The NVR has a little bit of a zoom also. Sorry, here it is. A little bit of zoom on the NVR. The top left, you can see the plus and minus and basically the wheel of the mouse, you can go in and out. Let me click on this area here. You can click, you can drag it, drag it down. Same with the DVR here with the analog system. The Pelco Spectra 4 SE. And that's, it's not an IP, it's not a Spectra Enhanced, it's just an analog. I love it, it's beautiful. The first one I had was a Spectra 3 SE. In 2003, I had that up and running. They're very good. And what I like about Pelco, they specialize in CCTV. So again, I was introduced to this from a job I used to do, hotel security, and a little bit of condominium security. I did that for 10 years. That's how I was introduced to Pelco. As I said, commercial grade, you'll see them in shopping centers, businesses, um, condominiums, even on top of the roof of condominiums that are 200 feet tall because of the zoom capabilities that it has. 200 yards and read a license plate. I've seen the spectra's at 16 times optical going to 35 times optical. This one has a 35 times optical zoom and then a 12 times digital zoom. This building is about three blocks away from where I live. I'm not actually sure what this building is or where it is exactly, but it's in my neighborhood quite a ways away. Looks like it could be a business, then there's a parking structure in the middle, then there's a condominium in the far back. And so the optical zoom bar here, it is going to, let me get it to 35. 35 will be the max optical. Okay. And we have focus buttons, this and that. So at that point, it would continue on with a digital zoom. In a digital zoom, you're not actually getting closer to what you're looking at, but rather the, the image is being stretched on the screen to a, appear that it, it's closer. And the digital zoom is adjustable, I can increase it. And so interestingly enough, this building that I said is about two or three blocks away, on both ends of the property, on the roof, they have two PTZs that are very similar to mine. Now these two can both see this way, but this one can't see around that corner and this one can't see around this corner. So they have it here, one here, one here. So this is kind of a redundancy where this one can see there and this one can see here, but they need to see this side too and this side. But honestly, if you have a home, if you put one PTZ here and one PTZ here, then this one covers this direction, this one covers here, and this one can cover this way and this way. So all four sides of your property are covered. And you can control multiple domes with the KBD, with the keyboard. You just switch from one dome to another. You know, and naturally the most advantageous spot to, to mount a PTZ or a fixed camera, any 
camera, I would think is at the corner of a property. So you can see the entire side of the property. Because naturally anything behind where the camera is mounted will be a blind spot. There's a small arm mount, there's a longer arm mount, and then this is like a pole mount that they have. Then there's, there's a flange mount. And then of course you have the recess, the in-ceiling mount where the body itself is concealed in the ceiling. Mostly I think indoor applications like hallways. Yeah, so these, especially that condo in the back, that, that building is miles away from where I'm at. I mean, it's very far away. So with both systems, it's a challenge with having one screen. Here they are side by side. Let's go to quad. So this is a four in one uh, quad screen multi viewer. So basically, able to view the home security system while watching a, a movie or um, a gaming device or having your PC connected or your phone and um, doing multiple things at once. So I've had many of, of these 4-in-1 uh, viewers where you have the picture-in-picture the -picture where you could adjust the size of the picture-in-picture -picture and um, the location of it on the screen. So taking a look at the KBD-300A which controls the Spectra 4. So PTZ, pan, left and right, tilt, up and down, and zoom, PTZ. This is focus near, focus far, iris open, iris close. Patterns, presets, patterns, you can program it to do a certain pattern, a certain movement, stop and end at a certain position. Preset, same thing. This can do about two, 200, 256, something like that, presets where you can set it to a certain area and save that preset. It functions here if you have a multiplexer system and you wanna switch from different cameras Retail, I would say two to three thousand dollars for that Spectra 4 system. This keyboard is another five hundred dollars. Why it's in this box is just to kind of keep it covered and protected. This is a, a cash box for cash and coins. It just happens to fit perfectly in here. I drilled a hole here for the Cat5 cable. Yeah, I was trying this auto tracking feature here that. Um, track stuff on its own. And very nice day night capabilities on the Spectra as well. And lastly, a bit of window security here. And cutouts I did with a hacksaw so that the lever could go up and down. To clean this, I would just go outside, take off the screen on the window. It's not impossible to break this. This is again, just to stop someone from taking off the jealousies. I can make it harder and more time consuming for someone to gain access. All right guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you when I get the Golden Eagle Armor Statue.